informe de la misión. No puede ser, es la hija Sunny Sunny La que dijeron antes La hija No Madre mía dead I remember the sun being so flat sorry I'll dig in right away Sonny and would you make some for snake too okay uh, hey none for me Sonny oh, like the PMC soldiers all went haywire en mass too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. You're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. Uh, um, here you go. Ah, con un cigarro. Thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. Quarantined, 
No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's. And I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Dye. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Dye was incorporated, inherited, really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Dye works. sent her location data in a separate file. What the hell is that? It's a type of encrypted data. Sunny decoded it for us. Remember now? This is data from the Soliton radar you used at Shadow Moses. I'm guessing Naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her. Sending the map data in Soliton radar format. Pretty clever. And Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Soliton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> it's Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The Rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really Pierre Ramamont, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel. Where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of Liquid. 
I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only way in. I secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. <clears throat> oh, mother of me. The rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. Twenty hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. Acto 2. Solid Sun. Sol sólido. ¿Todos los actos van a tener sol? ¿De título? Esa niña es la caña, ¿eh? Esa niña es... Es un coco. Y es una chavalina. Joder, dentro de... De 10 años. How deeply are they involved in all of this? The Patriots, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business? Right now. Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. We must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. 
Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid Safe House. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. No me jodas que está vivo. Persiguiendo a matar a nadie Falsa Me han echado la culpa a mí ¿Por qué se puso mi cara? ¿Cómo se la puso? Bicho raro este Tiene la risa fácil la tía, ¿eh? Oh, no para. Forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. I swear, the next time he shows up. Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake. According to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? 
That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kinda got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for her older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually... I kind of based it on some design Sonny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. Huh. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry. I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah. It could be a trap. Stay sharp. 